afternoon. Welcome back to a new episode of Dolph Fuckers. I'm your host Mickey D and today we're playing Necropolis. So what is Necropolis? Necropolis is a diabolical dungeon delve by Hairbrain Scheme. It's an action RPG and it's a third person action RPG and you've got at the moment just two characters, your brute or your blackguard. And yeah, now the game's good, it's interesting. It has a degree of difficulty which is fucking irritating. But I don't know. As always, we'll go through the settings. So you can't do anything with the controls, you can do fuck all with them. No customizing, no changing, piss all. Which is disappointing. You can do your look sensitivity, whether you want vibration on or off, other people to join, volumes, what video settings you want. So there's no, there is no borderless window. You can do full screen or windowed. That is it. There's no borderless, which is disappointing. And yeah, that is pretty much it. So, it's it's got a degree of difficulty, which is nice. And yeah, I would say if you're going to play this, use control controller because the mouse and keyboard is absolutely bullshit. So many things don't work and doesn't work very well. Doesn't run very well with it. So I'm preferring the Xbox One wireless controller. Any Xbox 360 controller will work. So, yeah, Necropolis. Right, what do you do? Walk around, killing shit. <laughs> essentially, completing quests, gathering food, creating things. So, you can have a variety of degree of weapons. So you've got your block, which is a standard block attack, and then you've got three different attacks. That's a fucking giant shot. You've got your little shield bash. Motherfucker. Shit. You dodge. And you get a quick attack. But enemies can hit themselves. You. Oh. I'm going to die here. Fuck. Um. That's all I can do about it. Thank you. So you can get enemies to kill each other, which is fun. No, and I'm dead. Like I said, it has a degree of difficulty. A degree which I'm not overly keen on. Um, no, I am. It's enjoyable. Let's try that again where I don't die instantly. I just got shafted royally. So, let's go for her, because I can. And yeah, so anyway, it's a typical dungeon crawler. You go around solving puzzles, avoiding traps, getting treasure. And the environments just change constantly. You need to do time attacks. There's potions, books, scrolls, all sorts of things. It is available on Steam now for 18.39, I believe I got it from. You can grab that today cheaper. It's on the offer. Normally it's 22.99. So yeah, so let's try not to die. Let's go this way this time. No. Oh my body. Oh. So yeah, so... Put your shield bash. Change weapons, enemies drop various weapons, shields. I haven't seen arm yet, but I believe you can get armor. Yeah. 
No, can't do any crafting yet. So yeah, so this is pretty much it. You can lock onto your target so you can see what they're doing. sorts of loot. You don't get any stats on them other than the tier. So that's how the level systems work. So you get tier 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and various things like that. So yeah, um, this is pretty much it. But it's interesting. It's more designed for co-op. So I was playing this game earlier on with my friend Ian. And So I will put, as always, the links in the, in Steam, uh, in YouTube rather, not in Steam. Hope you've enjoyed it. This is another episode of Mickey D plays. No, this is the fuck is. I've done that so far with so many videos this week. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more soon. Mickey D out. Bye bye.